Greetings fellow productivity seekers, Garland Coulson, Captain Time here, and today I'm going to show you a tool that I've been using for a while now, Zenkit To Do, which is a minimalist task management system. So, this is our tour, this is what it looks like, Zenkit To Do on the left hand side, you'll see we have menus here, options, uh, some folders and some information, inbox, etc. And in the middle area here we have where your tasks would normally show. And this is an inbox, so I currently have no tasks in my inbox. So I'm going to go over to the folders area with templates and demos where I've set up a sample task list uh, for Zenkit to do training. So as you can see, now that I've got all these tasks, this might look more like a normal day where you might have a ton of different tasks to do. So uh, this is kind of the interesting look of it. Uh, it's very minimalist. As I was saying, it's... Uh, it's got um, very good look to it, like this is a, a background that I've chosen myself, but you can go ahead and change the backgrounds using your, your settings. You can choose a different theme, so you can see how easy it is to change your theme here. What I love about uh, Zenkit too is they have both dark and light themes, and they specifically have um, some pre-created pictures that will work with the dark theme as well which is great. So yeah, so it's just a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic system. You can go with a blank background, which I'll do for now. Choose your color and, and looks great. Now, as I'm completing each of these tasks, you can see I just click here and it disappears. Over on the left hand side, you see I can create folders. I've got acting projects, pending projects, templates and demos and personal. If I want to close that up, I just close that up there. If I want to add one, I just go here and I can go in and create a brand new list that then goes in the folder, uh, which is the overview there. So if you want to create a task, you just go up here and put in a task and I might go sample task and then it's created. Now you see that there's a little um, hamburger menu, they often call these, the little three dots on the uh, right hand side. So when you do that, it gives you some choices. You could mark this as starred, which would then show up in the little starred folder over here. You can duplicate it, uh, which I use a lot because I create templates ahead of time and then I, I duplicate them to the list, active list I'm working in. You can move it to a list or you can copy to a list, which is, uh, you know, another one what I do, I'll copy a template to a list. You can subscribe to get notifications about uh, comments on it or you can archive it. So that's all within the little hamburger menu there. And we've already completed tasks. It gives you a little sound and you can see as I'm going through the list, you know, my tasks are being completed really quickly today. Now, if you click on a task, it gives you some deeper info and options. So let's test you create a due date uh, that you can put in here. Uh, so let's create a due date of today for something. Go save. And then you can put in a reminder if you want it to notify you, when you want it to notify you. You can put in a repeater, and this is very useful for things that you do on a weekly basis, like take out the garbage or report you have to send to a client. So I use the repeater a lot. You can add a subtask to it, and a subtask is uh, quite very useful. I'll show that in a moment. You can add notes to it, and you can add attachments, and then you can create comments. So this is what gives you in that particular area there. So we've done the notes. Now notice I scheduled a task for today and suddenly a little list over here on the side showed up showing just today's tasks. So these, these are called smart lists or smart folders. They will automatically show your today and your weekly tasks so you can see what's upcoming and this is just done by the date. When I click on this, and then it gives me, congratulations, you're done for the day. I love that little feature, done for the day, sounds great. <laughs> but we'll go back down to the other list we're working on. So the smart lists are a really great feature. I love that one. Uh, the recurring tasks are also very useful, being able to do the files and attachments. The comments is great because it can let me know where I'm at. So let's say, for example, if I were writing out um, a you know, plan for a new workshop. I might put in something like created outline and say, you know, Dynalist, if that's what I was using for outlining, and put send. You can also put in here 
you know, at if you want to let people know, like if you want to let other people know who are part of your that your list is shared with so that they're able to see it as well. So a great feature with the comments and with the being able to add this. I always know where I left off on each task. So I use this uh, roof. I make sure I always put a comment in whenever I'm done a task. Now completed tasks are down below you notice and that can get really big over time but if I don't want to see it I just click on the done go hide and they're all gone. If I want them back I go done and I go show and then those tasks are back. Now a really great feature with this is the subtask functionality. So when I add subtasks over here you see that it gives me the tasks over here and I can also tick these off. So you use a checklist when a step has multiple tasks you create, I create those tasks as a template list to easily copy to my main project list. And then as I tick them, you see it shows how far done we are. So we are currently two out of the four tasks on this particular one. And then it uh, you know, shows you where you're at, which is great. So when I create websites, I have over 65 steps that I go through to get the website finished. And this lets me create all 65 of those steps for a brand new website in a second. I just copy the template over and then I start working through. And when I tick it all, then I've got the option I can tick that as being completely done as well. Now, if I want to change the order, I can also grab that and drag and drop it. So it's a great way to reorder what's, you know, what's the most priority, what am I supposed to work on next. You can also do Alt to click on multiple tasks. So you go, tack, uh, oops, did that wrong. You can use the Alt key to click on multiple tasks. So if you want to deal with multiple tasks at once. Uh, search, they've got search over here so you can search to find a task so if you had a task that had a certain th name in it title you can find it you are able to share your lists with people uh, which is a useful feature if you're working with teams uh, we talked about setting notifications before settings area is up in this area over here in the settings you can change your subscription, change your theme, set your notifications and you know turn off smart lists if there's something you don't like for example I don't need the all tasks one so I've hidden it so you can you can make some of those changes there. You can change your panel width by just going here changing that um, in addition you can do the same thing here if you want to have your panel a little bit different you know you can move them around which very easy to do pros so what I what do I like about it well clean minimal interface as you've seen ticking off is so easy to get these tasks done sub lists are great as checklists and templates they work really well Zen kit to do is is affordable the free vision version is very powerful I have upgraded because there were a few features I wanted but in all honesty I could have continued working with the free one for a very long time uh, for me, it's key that the mobile interface works well and is fast. And, I, and I've dumped several systems that I love, you know, because of the mobile app just couldn't keep up. And on this one, the mobile app also works very well. It's fantastic. So it does allow some collaboration, but may need pro levels for more control uh, in those cases. So, but definitely a great great tool for that. Some cons with it, some things I don't like about it. You can't set priority levels and this is a real um, issue for me but you can uh, you can use starred to provide partial functionality. So if I had a couple, couple of uh, high priority tasks, I could mark them as starred, you know, and then that way they would show up there. But overall, I really wish it would let me set a high priority list like low, medium, and high. You also can't pull together tasks from multiple lists, which would be nice. Now it does pull together in your daily you know, task due today or task due this week, it pulls them together or start is one way of pulling them together. But again, I'd like to be able to pull together tasks from multiple lists that might have a, a certain theme such as a tag them as ones that, you know, could be done when they're out. So I'd love to be able to create my own dynamic folder options. That would be fantastic. So that's Zenkit to do. Uh, great tool. When you go to Zenkit, make sure you it's Zenkit to do you want because they also have Zenkit Base, which also may be a great program, but it's not this one. It's it's done a little bit differently. It's like Zenkit's uh, version of Notion or Airtable. 
Hope this helped. Please hit, a, hit the like button and subscribe down below. And please add the comments if you found this useful or if you have any questions about Zen Kit to do. Thanks so much for listening.